Hi, uh, are you able to hear me, right? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, fine. Thanks. So with this integration, uh, we have uh, created a text file. So that is the text file which we created with this integration by using the custom report transformation an option. So in the transformation, which is a custom report transformation here. So I just downloaded the file and uh, opened in my notepad. So this is the output looks like here. Okay. Uh, in the heading section, it will, as we see, we, we configured, it will print the start date and time, then the file name. Okay. File name is going to be RD16, the file output file name. In the heading section, this is going to be header. Okay, and this is the call titles of the uh, our custom report company name, employee ID, worker status, status, first date, last name. So, this is the uh, column heading section, column headings, and uh, the details will be shown here as per our configuration. So, we mentioned that it should be prefixed with a single quote, suffixed with single quote, separated by five delimiter here, and if it is maximum of 25 characters, it has to print. If it is less than 25 characters, it has to open with stars. If it is greater than 25 characters, it will open, it will trim it. It will trim to maximum of 25 characters here. So this this is what we done for company ID in the configuration. Okay, this configuration we done here. Similarly, this for employee ID. So we will, so we defined as a maximum 10 characters followed by uh, prefix with single code, suffix with single code. If it is less than 10 characters, it should be prefixed with or appended with or padded with zeros here, okay, from the left hand side. So it will be padded with zeros up to 10 characters here. Uh, and a divider we choose is a delimiter, we choose is a 5 delimiter, it is chosen the 10 delimiter. So again, status is active and it's a 5 millimeter uh, worker status it's active and status it is showing you just a first name last name this is a concatenation field which we we created a calc field right to concatenate first name plus last name plus marital status so all it is concatenated and it is joined here okay it is printed here concatenated option then High date, probation date, and uh, date difference. Okay, date difference between high date and date of birth. It will show. But it's uh, how many years actually? Ten, uh, four years, four years, four years like that. So all the calculated fields data along with the delivered fields, it is showing in my coming in my custom report. Okay. So let's see for each row is for one employee. It will print for all employees in the custom report. There are maximum of 115 rows here. It will Then finally, it will print the footer here. Okay. So the line number and the footer here. It shows total rows. It is showing 113 because it has to exclude the header and file name, right? Okay. After excluding uh, this section and uh, header section, total number of rows is uh, 115 and maximum line number it shows 75 here. Okay. This is the row count, this is the line count here in the photo section. So, this way we can generate an output with a text format or CSV format or a DAT format if you want by using custom report transformation here. Custom report transformation. So, now we see how to generate a, a file with XML, how to deliver the XML file and how to deliver the text file or a DAT file using custom report transformation. Now we see a custom transformation here. Okay. How do we, we do a custom transformation? So for now, uh, let me select so this output file, right? Custom report transformation. So similar way, we can create another integration. What is the line number in the folder? It is going to be 75 here. Okay. Line number is 75. Maximum line number are it will show here. Okay, let me select. This is the row number 113. Line number is 75 here. Line number 
175. Now let's see the total count here 115. If you remove top two regard rules, top two is nothing but the details here. Just a header sections in the top two. If you remove, if you remove it, it will show 113 here. And line number is 75. Okay, let's go something here. Some line number. This is line number here. It, it has to show maximum column number or line number. Okay, so line number is nothing but total unique employees here. Okay, so there are multiple employees here. It's showing John, John, John. Okay, so maybe multiple dependents will be available here. Okay, for employee, multiple dependents will be available. By excluding those dependents, so for one unique, how many total unique employees here? Okay, so so it will do, remove the duplicates here. Among one one three, it will remove the duplicates. And, and it will print only each unique number here. John Joseph is the employee ID. Okay. Now it see this is the employee ID. It, it comes with three times. This is the employee ID. It will come with three times. Many employees it comes with two times, three times like that. Okay. So the, the line number will show the unique count of employee IDs here. Okay. Unique count of employee IDs, not the column number. It will count unique count of employee IDs here by removing the duplicates. Uh, employees because if you have multiple dependents, multiple dependents will come with a separate line here. So multiple dependents will come with a separate line. By remove by excluding those, uh, actually it will come as a total unique employee count. It will show here. It is showing 75. That's what it shows. Okay. Uh, let's see other other example with uh, custom transformation here. Okay, the same way, similar way, we create another integration. Okay, with different transformation type. Let me create another integration here. Create A is the task name. Okay. Create A is the to create any integration name. So we need to provide a name for this. RD16. Let's say EIB custom transformation. So previous example we see custom report transformation. The report is actually there here, but here report using custom just a custom transformation. So the difference between custom report transformation and custom transformation is custom report is delivered, so we don't need any coding. Uh, custom report transformation is a delivered transformation or work they provided and we don't require any coding there. So whatever the configurable options in the column sections or header section or footer sections, we can configure it and we can generate the output file. But here in the custom transformation, it is completely custom, customized. So we need to write up some code here to generate the output file. So we need to write up a code that is called XSLT transformation. We need to write a, write a code here to transform the custom report data. Uh, whatever the custom report data uh, of our custom report generates, so we, uh, we can transform the custom by coding using the coding options here. Okay. So let's see the output file I choose it as a uh, direction I choose an output outbound here. Click on OK. The same steps will show for our similarly last two integrations is the same sections: general data sections, get data, transformation, delivery, and summary here. General data sections will show a general uh, information about this integration. What is the name? What is the ID? And what is the comments which we provide? Our description of provide it will show. Okay. Then get data section. We can go here. Where we choose a custom custom report. Right. So custom report uh, type we choose. And what is our custom report? We need to choose it here. So my custom report is RD16 choose then click on next button uh, to transformation here in the previous example 
we choose a custom report transformation okay uh, custom report transformation or new custom report transformation when we are creating first time the other option is now the pending option is custom transformation here we choose custom transformation here we need to select the file okay uh, transformation file so this is a way we need to write up a code outside of this uh, one day and bring to here okay let me select um, how to write a code here in the accessibility so that's what we i have asked you to install oxygen here oxygen xml editor xml developer so it's a trial version available up to 30 days okay if you want to again extend it uh, you can download uh, you can again create a new email id example gmail or something so again you configure pro get a new license uh, uh, or a renewal license for another 30 days here okay every time you provide a new new employer new email id it will give you a trial version up to 30 days here okay so i you need to download this from the google or from downloads.com or just type in the google oxygen xml developer oxygen xml developer or download it will take you to the link you can download this tool here oxygen it's an xml tool there are multiple tools available okay one is oxygen xml editor the other one is uh, uh, xml notepad 2007 or something so we have tools different tools available to build the xml code xml transformation code here accessibility transformation code and test it okay so most powerful advanced here there are many options available is oxygen xml editor has uh, advanced features uh, if you want so that's why you can uh, we mostly use oxygen developer but some users may use it uh, xml notepad xml notepad for transformation and that so there are other tools as well not only this there are other tools as well to transform the xml to xslt to transform uh, xml to different file format here this is xml editor we can edit it we can transform data xml output to a different format and we can test it here okay we'll see how we can do use this xml uh, oxygen developer and create our code here create our code xsld code okay first okay so this is our xsld file here okay so let me create run this uh, custom report here i'm just opening a a report here I, i'm opening a new window i want to run my custom report that is that will generate an xml output file xml output file here okay what we need to do usually so to prepare our xslt down i need to prepare this uh, code here okay i need to prepare this code and test it once it is tested i have to attach this code in my in my uh here in my uh, program in my program AV transformation program so if you see this drop down there are multiple xslds already available here okay so these are created and attached to here in this um, one day here but, but our transformation file is not there okay so if you we can apply the other one also but it is not relevant to our this report okay this may be suitable for different reports as well, okay first what we need to do we need to create our XSLD transformation file or which has in our code. Let's say it will, it will be similar to this. Okay, it will be similar to this. What it will do? It will do is it will read the data of XML and transform into a different file here. Okay. For first, let me see how we can generate this file okay, and test it. Okay. Uh, I am opening a new my report here, RD60, my custom report. I go to actions, web services, view URL. So let me select these two as it is and click on OK. It will take me to different types of output files. I choose rest or workday XML here. It 
will ask you user ID password, that is tenant user ID password again. Once we provide it, we will generate output in XML format. I copy this, usually we copy this XML output, control A, control C, we'll bring into notepad here, okay, oxygen here. There are different options available, file or a new, okay, this is a new tab to create a new file, I'm just clicking on the new here. So there are different options available, so we can create multiple files, okay. XML new new document new we can create an XML document we create an XSL style sheet and there are different XML schema document type definition NVIDIA script X query scheme and this are by using oxygen we can create these many types of uh, files here text file HTML file all these files we can create for now this is an XML file right I just create a new document here XML document create so it's a blank one okay for currently it's a blank one i just remove all this one okay i copy paste my xml code here so i copy paste my xml code there is a top line it is just a comment xml doesn't appear to have this is not a code here i'm removing this code and i will format this is the format option i'll format it to read in formatted way okay so this is my xml out xml created by custom report uh, what I run the custom report, I got the output in this format, copy paste it here into my notepad, my oxygen and format it option. So this is my custom report here. One minute I am getting a call. <laughs> So we bring the XML output here, okay, that is untitled 1.xml. This is generated by my custom report, okay. Each employee have one entry here, okay. Each employee data belongs to one entry. Entry, so from, from here to going down here, one employee data, okay. This is the entry start tag for one employee report entry. It contains an end tag here. Wherever you see a slash, uh, a slash between the tag after the tag, uh, tag end, so you see that is the end of this tag here. Okay. Similarly, again it will come with the new employee ID, and it will end with end tag here. Okay. So it is ended with end tag is how we can recognize end tag is there is a slash backward slash in between here. So that is end tag. So all this between uh, start tag and end tag belongs to one employee data. Okay, there are some sub tags or sub nodes will be available mm -hmm. for each employee data. We can talk about later. So this is an XML file. We want to convert and uh, uh, generate a XSLD file here. Okay, so we 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 see discuss about this maybe uh, how to generate later. First, I have one file here, the XSL transformation file. How we can transform and see output file itself, we can see it, okay. First, let me select. Let me select how we can transform it, okay. There is a XSLT transformation here. XSLT transformation on the right side of that uh, tool. So I just click on XSLT transformation. Here we have two options, XML file and XSL file. So we need to provide in the under XML uh, source, the untitled one XML is my XML source here. And XSLT file, there are RD14, EAV, XSLT, outbound transformation, outbound XSLT, this is my transformation file. So when I click on run button, this will transform and generate the output file on the right side itself. 
on the right side. Okay. So what it will do? It will read an XML data and transform into a file that is listed here. Okay, in the output format here. So what which which is doing this is our XSL decode, which is defined here. Our XSL decode, which is defined here, it will bring the transformation here. Okay. So this is how we can actually create and transform it. Okay. For now, uh, we can uh, we can actually transform transform this in using XSL. To again coming back to our development window, there is another editor here, XML editor. You can click on this. It will come to again the the preview, the our original code here. Okay. So this way, we can using Oxygen tool, we can actually write up our code here, XSL code, and transform it here. Okay. So now. Let's see how we write the data. Let's see how we can write the this XSL code here. Okay. So XSL dot XSL is nothing but a code contains a code that will read XML output and transform into a text file or a CSV file or whatever the doc format we want it, which will transform it. Okay. We need to by using this oxygen we can create open all XML or XSL files we can transform it or something. First, now let me create one one XSL style sheet, XSL file. Okay. So I, I click that new button, XSL style sheet, create. By default, it will come with these lines. This is a syntax or declaration section. Okay. So whenever you choose a new file, XSL file, it will come with all these options. Okay. Let's say two. When I create a three and then create, it will come with different options. Okay, this is a basic syntax of XSLD file. It contains a version and encoding UTF encoding options and a style sheet and with some namespaces. What is access XSL namespace and transformation? What is the XS namespace? Then exclude results prefix and version. It will by default it will come up with this declaration okay whenever you choose a new XSLD okay so once we create get this XSLD so we need to read our XML file right we need to read our XML file how to read our XML file is this report data has namespace here RT this is my custom report output okay it contains a report data report entry similar to that there is a namespace here so this namespace we need to define here in the our XSL code in the declaration section okay let me declare this one here namespace i'm going to declare here okay so I want to declare the namespace. So based on this, based on this namespace, uh, it will recognize the XML output. Okay, this XML output has the same namespace, and this my XSL code also has the new namespace here. So based on this RD16 personal data advanced namespace, and also RD16 personal data advanced namespace, it actually recognizes our XML output. Okay. Once it is recognized, what it has to do? What what this XML has to do? We need to write up code here. Okay. Once it is declared, uh, we need to define some output methods or something. Okay. Uh, code here XML. We need to define output method XML XSL uh, XSL colon output. XSL colon we need to write and declare the output type here. Okay, what is the output you want it? Okay, what type of output you want it? For me, let let, let me select XSL, XSL colon. Whenever you see XSL colon, you see allowable 
all options will come here different whatever the options it is available allow at this stage again attribute set character map decimeter format input so these are different options available options what is the each each condition it will show what is the description of the here okay. for now we need to declare an output type here i want to declare an output okay output method equal to we need to define a method method equal to xsl or xml or something different types of output methods it will follow on html text xhtml xml for now let's please select xml here or the text or a text i can choose so my output method is text here okay so this is the output method i declared then i need to define uh, some variables okay if you want any variables you can declare in, de declare in this section let's say i want to declare um, variable here to declare a variable we can click on xsl colon some variable okay as soon as type va it will come with the list of um, allowable options and what is the description and syntax here okay I just double click on it it will create a name let me select a line space line three is my variable name okay let me once it is selected i need to select it select value here select equal to double quotes this one so in in, in xml and you i want to come to a new line i need to de declare with this option okay in xml tra xsl transformation if I, i want to come to a new line i need to declare a this variable this is a stores wherever we call this option it will come to a new line so for for example i have type uh, uh, completed header section okay then i need to come to detail section once i completed detail section i need to come to uh, footer section here so every time by section section you want to come to new line right otherwise if you want to print all the things in a single line so wherever you want to come to a new line we need to call this variable okay. call this variable we need to call it okay. let me select a new line equal to this one similarly we need to call a new field here okay uh, another variable i am declaring xsl colon variable name equal to um, delimiter delimiter So delimiter is the variable name I created. So what is the delimiter here? We want to select here. Which delimiter we want to separate it by each column? Uh, let's say I want to delimiter with five symbols. Okay, R a comma separated. I can choose in my delimiter name here. So this way we can actually declare the output method, uh, output method, and um, So we can declare the output method, the line speed, delimiter here. Okay, this is just a variable declaration. It can change. Okay. So once we declare this one, we have to what next we need to do here. Okay. So we need to read this each element here. I want to read um, report data. I want to report entry. I want to read each field inside the report entry. For that, we have a code called we have a template called XSLT template. Okay, XSL match here. Okay. Let me select uh, XSL colon template. So template. Uh, this is the function. As soon as I click on XSL template, it will come. Okay. So here we we have to declare. the template okay xsl template okay. once it is declared we need to do what we need to do we need to match this report data xml match with the top node wd colon report data so 
XML template match is the function what it will do it will be described here in this section what XML match it will do so just click that click that match double click on it it will give give me to the syntax actually so match and double click so this is my syntax so what I need to I need to refer this one so top node I need to refer in this section. So it will go to actually match the Excel. First, based on the namespace we provided, it will recognize our XML file. Once it is recognized, it will look for match the report data, which is available here. Once it is looked, there are multiple entries are there, report entry. Each entry belongs to one employee here. Each entry belongs to one employee. Let's see. Once it is recognized report data, we need to read each employee element here, each report entry that belongs to each employee. So let's see, I want there are multiple report entries are there. So how we can do each report entry? Each there are hundred. Sometimes we may have hundred employees. Sometimes we may have thousand employees. Sometimes we may have uh, one lakh data here. So for every employee, I want to read and put into an output file. So to read. Uh, every employee here we need to use a for loop okay for first employee to last employee it will read all employee data and pull fetch it okay okay let's see for for each is the statement for each is the function actually for each is the function which will loop for each employee here so let's let me select for each for each is the employee here it will, it will select okay. so once it is selected for each what it has to uh, for for each is the for loop it will select actually from xml it will select each report entry each report entry it will select here okay so once it is collected, now we are in each report entry. First, we accessed by namespace, we access this XML output. Then we matched with report data. Okay, on the top node. Once it is matched, it has multiple report entries are there. Okay, for multiple report entries, each report entry it has to read, and each and inside of each report entry, one employee data will be available. Okay, for this employee report entry. This belong to one employee. The other and second report entry will belong to second employee data. Okay. So likewise, if thousand employee entries are there, we need to loop for thousand times. If it is a uh, one lakh employee entries are there, uh, we need to loop for hundred thousand lakh times here. Okay. For that, we use for each report entry here. For each report entry, we selected um, reading it. For for each, we are reading it. So. So this is a for each statement. In, inside this, we need to access whatever the fields we want it. Okay. Let me select. I want to access here for Okay, first I want to access for employee ID here. Okay, company ID I want to access it. How do we access it here? Is let me select XSL caller. So this is XSL transformation. Okay, um, XSL. We need to refer everything with by bracket XSL here. XSL caller need to type. It will give all the list of functions allowable here. Okay, now I want to select value from this xml that is company id i need to select how i can select this so as soon as you type it xsl here it allowable values will come we need to select here xsl value of select value of select it will give and i need to select this value so how what is the value here is wd company id so i want to type this one okay. so i want to bring wd company id in my output file Similarly, after after printing my uh, company ID, I want to call it delimiter here. How I can call it delimiter? This is a for delimiter function. Okay. So, 
Okay. So this is my delimiter here. So after printing company ID, I need to call a delimiter here. How do we call a delimiter? Value of select XSL colon. So value of select I can again I need to choose it here. Value of select. What is the this is my variable? Delimiter is my variable. I'm just calling this variable. How do I call this variable is using dollar symbol I can refer them so using dollar symbol is a variable we can refer here okay so after after calling uh, deal company ID I call delimiter here at the variable name okay and next what we want to access I want to access employee ID Similarly, I need to select XSL colon value of select employee ID. Okay, Let, let's see employee ID. I want to call it here. Again, after printing employee ID, I need to call delimiter. So, how I can because it has to be separated by comma every field every field it has to be separated by comma so that's what I, every time i'm printing a column i'm again calling it delimiter here okay it will be separated by comma because it's here delimiter i choose a comma separated by here okay likewise i have to select multiple fields here okay let me select multiple fields I'm just copy pasting all the time because to avoid a lot of time if you want to write it it will take a lot of time here uh, just copy paste multiple fields because whatever the fields i selected those only it will show in the output file right? the remaining fields even though let's say my custom report has thousand fields my custom report has thousand fields if i i have only referenced here 10 fields only 10 fields will be shown in my output file right? all 990 fields will not be coming in my output file right? because here i am selecting whatever the fields i want to show them in my custom report the other all other fields in even though xml output contains all other fields it will not come here okay. let's see this is my uh, employee id i selected uh, after employee id uh, let me select worker status okay after worker status i want to select first name so this is the tags here so when i refer them this value will be showing in the output this is the tag start tag and end tag between these tags the our value sets exact values will be stored so what we need to do worker status after that i need to refer the other tag here okay employee first name tag then last name tag i want to refer you can copy paste this to here in our excel access entry. then then high date I want to print. Okay, let's see high date. I'm just copying and pasting here all the fields. Whichever fields I want show to show them in the output, I need to refer them here. Otherwise, those will not be shown in the output file. Okay. Let's say probation date. Or, uh, let's say age here. I did age then so date of birth let's see date of birth here this way I want to refer each and every field here in our access entry uh, date of birth so currently there are few more fields are there. Let's say for example, narrative status, total base panelized amount, some dependent data. So all data is available, but I haven't referenced them. Okay. So that means those will not be shown in the output file. Whatever the fields you want to show. So the, I want to bring them in the for each loop. Okay. So for each employee, these fields will be selected and printed into my output file. Okay. This this is 
And this way we need to write the, our uh, XSLD right here. Okay, this is the detail section of the body. But if you want to do something uh, heading section, okay, like I want to print our headers, we you can print the headers as well. Like, so after the report entry, let's say we do a printer header. Okay, let me select XSL colon. So value of select. I want to print um, company ID. Okay, as a header, I can print it. This is why company ID followed by delimiter. Okay, I want to call it delimiter for header section as well because header also should be separated by commas here. Okay, let me select multiple headers here company ID, one for company ID, one for employee ID. Likewise, I'm just copy pasting all these headers here. It should be separated by commas here. Okay, company ID after printing, I need to print. Where is employee ID here? Worker status. Okay, let me print one more here. Employee ID. Company ID delimited. Okay, again employee ID. I want to call it here. Okay, I have employee ID here. Company ID employee. So I need to bring it my employee ID where it is referenced here. I need to bring after printing company ID, I want to print employee ID as well. So I am just wrapping in my immediately uh, my employee ID. So first we we'll print company ID, then employee ID, daily meter, okay. uh, then uh, worker status delimiter, first name delimiter, last name delimiter, high date delimiter, is delimiter. Data of birth delimiter. So this is the body section. For each employee, we print all this in the detail section. Okay. In the header section, we want to print similar to one header. I want to print it here. Okay, let me select employee ID here as my header. Company employee ID. Then worker status. Worker status should be in my uh, header section here. Worker status, then first name, last name, high date. This should be printed my as a header here. High date should be printed as a header. First name, last name, high date. Then age, then let me uh, date of birth one more column I have added for date of birth. So now I have printed the header section here, then followed by detail section. Okay. So age here, date of birth. So here this this section I am printing header and in this section I am printing details here. Okay, header doesn't have a for loop because I want to print only one time for header on the top row. Then for each employee, I want to print this delimiter. Okay, so as per the current logic, it doesn't know where to come to new line. Okay, after printing header section, immediately it will start following printing. Uh, Employee details. It will not come to new line here oh, until we specifically mention here. So we have declared a variable called new line B. So we can reference them in this after printing my header section. So I want to refer a new line feed here. So it will come to new line. Okay. And print starting detail section here. So to refer the new line here, let's see. Again, I need to call the variable here. Because in the variable, I declared a new line feed here. Okay. So I need to refer this variable here. Okay. Let me select XSL value of select. And what is the variable name? Line feed is the variable name I declared to come to new line. So I'm just referring this dollar line feed here. So dollar line feed, it will come to new line. Okay. 
So after printing header section, it will come to new line. After each, okay, okay, uh, after for each, after for each, it has to come to, uh, it will, once it is printed one employee data, again, it, uh, for second employee, it has to come to new line. So that's what I printed. It is coming to new line. So after for each statement, it will come to okay so here yeah, inside this i need to take a loop it here okay. so after printing data birth it will come to new line it will come to new line then again start printing this one okay so for all employees we will print detail section so currently i am just referring only 10 fields even though my custom report has multiple fields i i have only defined them in multiple fields, this section okay now let's try this how it will looks like okay how it looks like we can transform here and how our output file looks like here we can define here okay this is my xml one this is xml file so whatever the transformation file i created is untitled 2 dot xml this is my xsl file so in the xml section we need to define our xml in the xsl section i need to define xsl so if you want to transform it there is a run button here you can run and transform how output full line for file looks like here okay now let's see in the heading section it is not showing anything we'll see what is the problem here in the heading section but detail section you see for each employee it is printed up to 71 employees it will printed uh, company id employee id status first name last name hire date okay Okay, it is printed like this. So this is converted, this XSLT, our code is converted in XML output into this format here. So that is what we write this code simple. Um, uh, again, this header is not printed. Okay. So no, not sure what is the printed. Uh, header section is not printed, just a comma it is printed. Okay, let me see what is the problem. I, I, I have to come back here from edit mode. Okay, so this delimiter, I need to provide a single quotes again here, okay. Company ID. This uh, header section should be come again uh, um, come with single quotes, it seems. That's why it is not printed. I'm printing again the same, adding a single quote here in the each name here. Okay. So I added single quotes again here. Okay, let's see how it will print like this. I'm again going back to transformation. This this is where we need to test our transformation and see how, how output looks like. Okay. This will this icon will take us to transformation section where you need to choose the correct files, XML by SSL to file. Click on okay to transform it. Oh why it is not showing again. So headers is not showing here. What is the layer? Let me see it again. I can go back to here. It's showing an E error was reported during style sheet comparison. A fun match report on this. So there are some errors it's showing here. Let's see what is these errors are. Each for each. Okay. Okay. So I missed one uh, single code here in the first name actually. So there is no they there is single code at the end, but in the beginning there is no single code. I missed it. That was showing the error. Okay, now I added one more single code here. I don't see any errors now. Let's go back again to the transformation tab here and run our transformation. It will see the output here. Okay, now it comes with employee company ID, employee ID, worker status, first name, last name. All headers will come. So once it is printed headers, okay, we Called a new line space here. Okay, just here. If you see, 
new line feed we called so it will call the it will come to new line and for each employee for each employee okay for each employee it will print the all details for this one employee logan mckinney second employee is steven morgan third employee is ali botinas for each employee up to 1000 lakhs rows are there for each employee it will all these fields will be called we have access to all these fields okay okay so we have access to all these fields and once it is printed for all employees uh, that's it like but if there are how many employees it's, there is no photo section we provided okay so it will print all the detail section and end up until end of the uh, all report entries okay so, so this xml will be converted into this text file here this text file so by choosing this xslt transformation so now we created our xsl file okay we need to um, upload this file into workday and our run our integration in this custom transformation actually so in tomorrow's class we can so we actually upload this file how we will see how we can upload this xsl transformation into workday and send because we have tested here in the oxygen we tested so we got the expected results okay uh, how text file looks like or something so once it is tested so our code is looking good that means our code is looking all, all data is coming as expected okay so once it is tested if there are any errors we can fix this in the oxygen once our expected results is uh, as expected we will have to upload this file into workday and bring this in our custom report vab bring into select our vab then only it will uh, uh, process the xml and to transform into different file and generally finally gener deliver out this text file to a downstream system okay in tomorrow's class we see how we can load this file into our workday and uh, run the integration how we can deliver this xml output to third party system okay so for this is just xml and uh, transformation there are okay, plenty of videos available this transformation if you are now new to this code and uh, transformation you can go through there are uh, youtube uh, there are lot of videos xslt to xml transformation okay you can actually uh, learn from your own this is i'm not focusing this one this there are lot of materials available on youtube for this transformations okay i'm just show you how where to go and read this transformations so you just type uh, x ml to xsl transformation xsl transformation you have plenty of videos how we can uh, transform the files okay xsl and uh, transformations you can see the videos so let's see xsl techniques for xml to xml transformation convert xml to csv csv to easy steps okay so xml tutorial for 61 xslt functions so you can see there are lot of uh, videos like popular xslt and xml videos if you see so lot of videos for transformations here we can learn it from youtube and also uh, there is a uh, what is that w3schools.com is the website there you will find uh, what is uh, the details about xml and what is xslt so the w3.com is a school's website you can find here what is a different uh, you want to learn about xml tutorial you can learn what is xml okay and what is xslt also let's see to learn xslt here xslt is what we convert read the xml file and convert it okay it, it is also some descriptions uh, and some sample codes here okay we can try that and you can learn it from yourself uh, with the languages and transformations we have it here that resources we have so mostly we depend on w3schools.com to learn xslt uh, xslt transformation and youtube also there are multiple videos available uh, to learn this transformation cs for the xsl this is what i converted here in the oxygen i take one xml file and based on xml i created one xsl transformation file here okay. so you can same learn from youtube with this uh, resources okay. 
if you want to more detail if you want to depth and there are multiple functions we can use it okay for each and every function they will explain here in the in the in the w3 tool dot com uh, and with the examples actually the simple example code we can utilize it so i'll uh, let's focus on this xsld and xml transformations because this is already material available i'll be go, going through more into what they prospect you not this code okay because uh, you can learn it from yourself on these transformations once it is learned and you you prepared your own xsld transformation file okay you can attach that to what they and generate our your own uh, output file to downstream system or third party system here so now you install oxygen editor uh, from google and also whenever you feel time you, you go to xml to xsld transformation on the youtube and w3 schools dot com to, to read more about this transformation series. okay tomorrow's class we say we upload this file xsld transformation file we upload into workday system then we'll generate the uh, output file to downstream system so let me know if you have any questions or else we can talk tomorrow.